your first time visiting, welcome to my channel. My name is Tina Zink and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I live in Nova Scotia, Canada. And to all my friends returning, welcome back. I'm glad you're all here because today I'm going to share a very fun, simple card layout with you. It's one that we use today in my Mystery Stamping Hour. I have my Mystery Stamping Hour every Friday at 1 p.m. Atlantic time. And if you just go over to my Serene Stamper page on Facebook and click on the group button, we'd be happy to add you so that you can play along with us every Friday. So I'm going to just jump right in and stamp and I'm going to be using some new products coming out next month from Stampin' Up! featuring the Eden's Garden stamp set and designer series paper and coordinating dies. Let's start stamping. Here are the products that I'm going to be featuring on today's card and these are um, going to be in our new January-June 2022 uh, catalog from Stampin' Up! but next month Stampin' Up! has a promotion where uh, you can purchase these early so and next month is only a few days away which is hard to believe so this is the beautiful Eden's Garden stamp set and the coordinating dies the beautiful intricate trims and the designer series paper which is in my mind absolutely stunning so uh, the featured colors besides the beautiful gold is the soft succulent and the evening evergreen so those are the colors I'm using on today's card and I will flip these around so you can see them That's so pretty so pretty look at that how fun here we go again love that so dainty and there's tiny little gold specks little tiny dots in this paper it's oh my goodness just so gorgeous let me show you the other side look at that mm -hmm. lots of gold on this one so elegant and then the last is this here and then that's the back really really pretty so now I need to decide on which pattern I want to use in this video I'm just gonna use this one I'll put these aside so you need two patterns for this card so the first thing I'm going to do is cut a piece that measures four by five and a quarter that's straight and then I need another piece that measures three by three so I'm just going to use the reverse side of this someone in my last video asked um, about my paper trimmer because I was using Stampin Up's old style paper trimmer this is our new one this is well it's not that new but this is the one that you can get from Stampin Up I do love it but I do also have two of our older styles plus I have our guillotine um, paper trimmer that Stampin Up had out years ago um, so that's sometimes if you see me interchanging them is I'm just grabbing what's whatever is closest and what else do I need I need a piece of whisper white for my card base so this is eight and a half by eleven and along the eight and a half side I'm scoring it at four and a quarter spin it around and cut it at five and a half that gives me two standard size card bases I only need one today so I'm going to set that aside and then I've already gone ahead and cut a strip of uh, soft succulent this measures one by four so this is going to go on the front so again very simple card get my glue coming out there we go okay this is going to be one of those papers that you hate to cover up all right so I'm just putting that onto my card and then my three by three is going to go right on top like so and I'm just making sure that it's even on the sides and the top okay so I'm gonna grab a scrap piece of basic white 
and I'm going to do some stamping. And I'm going to use my Stamparatus as well. So I'm going to stamp this image here. And this is one of our distinctive stamp images. So it's made to look like it's, you know, faded and has all the shading already in it. But it is one of those stamps that I have found you kind of need to stamp it two or three times to get a really good, uh, a really good image. So that's where our Stamparatus comes in handy. So I'm just going to pick that up. And I'm going to stamp this a couple times using the soft succulent ink pad. And push it down. So it's pretty, but it definitely needs another inking. So I am going to ink it again. And look, so, so pretty. So again, you can get the shading, right? You can get all the different shading of the leaves and I think that is so super pretty now before I remove the paper or the stamp I'm gonna pull in my evening evergreen stamp and write marker and I'm just gonna go over on the tiny dots and these bigger leaf berries image just on the end here and um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think that's probably good. There's, oh, I want to do these too a little bit. Just to kind of bring in the uh, evening evergreen. Okay, stamp down. So now I've got the two shades on there. So I'm going to move this aside. Now we actually don't have a die for this particular stamp. So I'm going to just fussy cut it out so I'm just literally gonna go right around the image and I will speed this process up for you so there's my cut out piece and now I'm gonna bring this back in and I'm going to put this on with Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to come back to that in a second. And on this, I'm going to put um, some of my Evening Evergreen ribbon on there. So I'm going to use the tear and tape. Another strip on the back. Just lift that off. Like so. And then this is just going to get placed on the bottom of my card. Okay, so um, I've got my my strip of uh, soft succulent and the ribbon that I wrapped around it glued onto the bottom portion of my card. And now I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And when I'm trimming my card stock, and you may find this I'm sure as well, is quite often we end up with long or short strips of paper like this. And while I don't keep them all, I do make sure I have a really good stash in my drawer. And then I've got handy little pieces uh, of different widths that I can use for quick banners or sentiments that I want to put on my card. So I want to bring in some of that gold and uh, I'm going to stamp hello there. So I don't think I need the wide piece. I can use this piece. So put on my anti-static and I think that stamp is already on a block. Yes it is. So I'm going to ink that with Versamark. And Stamp it down. Sprinkle on my gold powder and set that with the heat tool. And I've got a little bit where I don't want it, so I'm just going to literally wipe it off. I'm actually going to use 
the little flat end of my take your pick tool. This is such a handy tool. I love it. There. Okay, so I have the excess powder off and I'm just gonna heat this up. I'm going to just cut that like so trim that off and I need some more dimensionals I like to use up every little bit of my dimensionals even on the edge so I'm gonna set that here and I'm gonna position that right about here and I'm going to put a ribbon bow right there. So I'm going to bring in a little gadget I like to use for my bows. And I know I have shown this before in my videos. Um, but if you've not seen this before, it's, it's an easy thing to make. This was given to me by a friend of mine who's also on my Serene Stampers team. Barb, thank you. And um, I love this so much that um, I had my guy actually made a whole bunch of them for me because I wanted to give these to my club members a couple of years ago for Christmas gifts. So it's just a piece of wood with some holes drilled in and little dowels that um, you can place in. And cats love to chew on these. Ask me how I know that. Now to make a bow, you wrap it around your two dowels. And I'm right-handed, so this piece comes over and under and on top. And then this piece is gonna go towards my left, underneath, you see, into that hole. And then I just tighten it up right in the middle. And then depending on how far apart your two dowels are will depend on the size of the bow that you get. So the wider um, apart they are, of course, the larger the bow. And that's how I cheat and get my little bows. So I also like to make double bows on this. And to do that, and you can do this with linen thread as well, is I wrap this around twice and then this piece goes over the piece on the left right through the middle on the other side over on top and then this goes through this side here and pull it tight in the middle it's easier to trim the edges of your ribbon when it's still on the dowel and then here's my double bow and then all I do is I just pull out the pieces see pull those out and I get a beautiful double bow look isn't that nice Whoop. here we go so that's how I get those bows. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on my card. I'm gonna use my tear and tape again. I'm just gonna take a little piece. I'm gonna put it right across like so. And take off the backing. So you see, this is a really, really simple quick card. But aren't they sometimes the best cards to make? Always good to have a good, simple card layout. Place that right down. I am bringing in our gilded gems. So for the inside, I'm going to stamp some of the leaves that are in this set. Stamp again without re-inking. So that was with the soft succulent. And do a couple more different designs mm, do another one down here and we'll do this little guy in the evening evergreen
I love stamping off and getting the gradual different shades of ink. And we'll do one more here. And I'm stamping right on top as well. Right on top of the other leaves. And again, using the Evening Evergreen, I am going to stamp. Uh, my heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. How lovely is that sentiment? So I'm going to bring my card back in. And I'm just going to glue this right on the inside. Now, the last thing I want to do, which I actually almost forgot to do, is I want to add a little bit of gold behind this piece that I cut. And to do that, I'm pulling this little die from the Coordinating Eden dies. And I'm just going to cut a couple of those. And I have to be honest, guys, I've never um, used our mini um, stamp and die cut and emboss machine um, because I had the bigger one and I didn't think I needed it but I ended up getting it last week and I love it I love having it handy on my desk because I have the bigger one um, off to the side on a different table I am loving this little guy and it's gonna be so handy when I go um, away if I want to go stamping with some friends and take this with me um, I'm just, I'm so happy I got this. I don't know what took me so long to get it. So anyhow, thought I'd share that with you. Really, really loving this little guy. So I'm just going to run that through. And I don't have my placemat taped down like I normally do, so it's sliding all over the place. Okay, I'll get my little pointy poker thing out and just pop this out. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to cut um, another one. And look at this. Folds right up, ready to travel. Really handy to have on, on my desk, I can tell you, I love it. Okay, so let's bring this back in and figure out where I'm going to put these. See, look at how it pulls out the gold from that designer series paper. Okay, I'm just going to stick some glue behind these. Kind of putting it on a slant so that it shows through where I've cut cut in here. Actually, I think I'm going to grab a little mini dimensional and put it right behind this berry or leaf. Okay, and then I'm going to put that down and now the card is finished. Isn't that a fun layout? Very, very simple and I'm really, um, I'm really loving these new products as well. And then the inside, So here's the one that I made today during our mystery stamping hour. Exactly the same, except I used a different pattern from the designer series paper. And I put my banner to the right instead of the left. And I used the soft succulent ribbon instead of the evening evergreen. So let me show you the one that I did today and you can see the difference. Aren't they pretty? I really, really like those. I hope you enjoyed today's card demonstration. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little bell next to it so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Take care and happy stamping.